The third international track and field event was held at the Letterkenny Athletic Club, including the four minute mile challenge event of 2015 at the Danny McDade track at the Oral Leisure Centre. It proved to be a very successful event with a number of international winners. The men's 100 metres was won by Lambaki Senselic. Tantindi Zumba won the 200 metres in impressive style, just on the line. The men's 400 metres was won by the South African Armad Van Ziel, while the 800 metres proved to be a very competitive race as well, with the American Sam Ellis coming first past the post. In the ladies' 400 metres, Sinead Denny from Dundrum, South Dublin, was a very impressive winner, while in the men's 3,000 metres, a very competitive race in the early stages was won comfortably in the end by Carl Stones, also from the United States of America. The women's 3,000 metre steeplechase was one of the feature events of the evening and it turned out to be a hugely competitive event. Jimmy Cheever from the United States was the winner in impressive style but she was pushed all the way by a number of Irish runners including Kerry O'Flaherty who finished second, Michelle Finn was third and Sarah Tracy in fourth position. It was a great evening for the three Irish girls as two of them, Finn and O'Flaherty, qualified for both the World and the Olympics and the Sarah Tracy qualified for the Olympics. The men's mile, which was the feature event of the evening, was won by the American John Peterson. He was just 0.7 seconds outside breaking the mile, as indeed he was at a similar time last year. This was a wonderful event, and it was just a slight pity that he just didn't get past the post half a second sooner. In other events, in the long jump for women, Vivian Flesher was the winner there. Louise Holmes from Kilkenny won impressively in the women's 200 metres. England's Joe Dunderdale was an impressive winner of the men's javelin. Well, another hugely successful night here with the third international meeting at the Aura Centre here. Unfortunately, the four-minute mile challenge was unsuccessful. John Peterson from the United States was just 0.7 seconds outside breaking the four-minute mile. But it didn't spoil what was otherwise a fantastic evening. John, it probably just couldn't have been much closer, could it? I'm certain I could have made it that way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're under a bit of pressure there coming up the back straight, but uh, I thought you were going to make it there. You were so close. Yeah, certainly. I had to make a go of it at some point. Uh, with about two to go, I started moving up, and I knew with uh, about three or so, 300 to go or so, I had to go. And so I had it at three to go, had it at two to go, just that last hundred always kills me. Yeah. And I suppose if someone had been pressing a little bit harder, it may, have been, it may have been possible to do it. It could have been, yeah, so, but that's not the way the race shaped up, unfortunately, but... You know, it's, it's always there, just got to just gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> you were here last year, I heard you saying you were close last year, close this year. you got to come back for three for the th third time. Yeah, I heard that's the charm, so we'll, we'll see what's up with that. With well, so many yards trying to get a qualifying time, I suppose that made it even more competitive than it might have been. Yes, yeah, everyone was hoping to get a, a world qualifying time. So um, my championship's already happened, so I'm not going, but it's awesome for these three Irish women who did get their time and now hopefully they'll get to go to world. Sure. The wind, was the wind difficult uh, coming up the back straight there? I yeah. didn't feel it. This is awesome weather. I just love this, uh, you know, cool, a little misty. It's perfect for distance running. Sure. Tell us something about yourself. What part of America are you coming from? Uh, I live in Seattle, Washington, so west coast. So weather like this most of the year. Okay. And are you tr on, on the circuit uh, pretty much all the time running? Yeah, most of the year trying, trying to run fast. Um, I'm off to Finland next. Okay, and is this your specialized event here, the 3,000 meter steeple chase? Yes, the steeple chase, I, I, I love the pain. <laughs> well, you took some pain tonight because they really pressed hard there yeah. in the last lap. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was just a, you know, you could tell everyone had that fire of, I got to get the standard, and so, okay. um, yeah, it was really a great, great meet. Okay. Carl, very impressive run from you, normally a steeple chaser, but I'm sure you enjoyed the, the 3,000 meters there. Yeah, I don't get to run it a whole lot, so it's always fun to come out. did one in Cork last week, and this one went a lot better, so. Yeah. You're on a bit of a tour of Europe at the moment, Carl, are you? I am, I am. Um, I'm going to go started in Cork and now I'm going to go to, to Finland for a steeplechase and then uh, see from there where I'm going to go. Okay, That's the life of an athlete, a professional athlete now, wherever the races are you got to go. That's right, yeah. that's right. This is my first time doing any racing in Europe. Um, it's not my first time over here but we figured we'd get some, uh, some good experience and I don't know, see a little bit of the country while we're uh, you know, headed into the Olympic yeah. year. Just give us your impression of the facilities here, Carl. I was incredibly impressed. Um, it was kind of 
I don't know. I liked I liked Letterkenny a lot. I got to run around the town quite a bit, and yeah. it was a, a very very nice. You don't see facilities this nice in the states most of the time at, at major universities. So sure. it's a uh, it's impressive, but I enjoyed running on it. Kilkenny better known for the hurling, but uh, Louise, excellent run, very competitive race there. Yeah, it was good. I knew it was going to be a tough field coming up here, but sure you have to give, go out there and give it a go. The rain didn't help, but sure, yeah. it's not a bad windy day here, so it's Absolutely. okay to run. The rain just came at just the wrong time. Uh, sure, it's Ireland we expected now at this stage. We're used to it. If it didn't rain, it wouldn't be Ireland. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 200 metres is your specialist event, Louise, is it? It is, yeah. Unfortunately, I've been plagued with injuries lately, so I'm only coming back. It's my first race in six weeks, but it's okay. onwards and upwards from here now. Nothing like a win to get a bit of confidence when you're coming back from injury. Yeah, it's great to come here and have a win. Like It's, it's good for the confidence to get back because it's always scary coming back and not being in great shape, so it's great for my confidence now. Sam, well done. That was uh, pretty competitive there. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Um, really happy to be here first time in Ireland, so glad I could come out, get a win, first race in a while. So yeah, is the 800 your specialist event? Yes, yeah, I do a little bit of the 400 too, but mainly 800. Okay, what was your impression of the track here tonight? It's great. I mean, missed the. Uh, Missed a bit of the rain, but now it's starting to pick up. So, yeah. like the facility, everybody's been super hospitable. Sure. Yeah. Are, you, are you running many races here in Ireland? This is my only one, I think, unless I can get into Morton Games, but okay. I'm on the waiting list. Okay. What's your impression, first time over in Ireland here? Everybody's lovely. Lovely country. Um, I went to Villanova and my coach is Marcus O'Sullivan, okay. one of my coaches. So Very good. He's good a Irish connection. Good Irish connection, yes. Yeah. And where do you live in the United States? Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice seeing you here, you Sam. Well, well done you. tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Shania, that was impressive. Yeah. Um, I thought uh, another girl was going to be here a little bit faster to push me. Sorry. I am um, running really consistent at the moment and I just re really want that drop. So yeah. it was good to get that time running on my own. So. I'm racing again tomorrow in Dublin, so a lot of people are closer to me, which will hopefully push me that little bit faster. Yeah, so, yeah. so it'll be good. Yeah, because when it's too easy, it's very difficult to maintain yeah, that momentum. Yeah, yeah, and it's a little bit windy up the back straight, so yeah. can't really go flat out. Um, but then I just tried to kick coming onto the home straight, like. But it's, again, it's still hard when you have no one to push sure, it. Sure, sure. So I just tried to do it on your own, but it's, it's tough. It's tough. Busy schedule at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, been racing every weekend since uh, June-ish, yeah. So I was at the European team champs in Greece um, and I've just been racing since. So sure. All 400 metres, Shania? Yeah, all yeah. fours. It's a tough one. It's a tough one, yeah. yeah. One of the 100 metres there, the Becca Selic, a very good performance there. Uh, I saw you looking actually at the clock as you were coming up to the line there. I was actually looking for a 10 one six to qualify to go to the world. So. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Yes, it was a very competitive race. It, uh, the guys were close to you there at the end. Yeah, they were a bit close at the start. They pushed me a bit at the start. And I was focused on myself and focused on what I need to do. And I, I did it perfectly. Okay. Have you been busy on the circuit at the moment? Yeah, I've been busy. I, struggled. I started with my season a bit rusty. I got a hamstring injury, so it took me time to get, to get, my, form go, go, to get my form going. I changed coaches. Uh, so uh, for me, a 10-3 my second race in Europe, it's, it's a bit good. Armand Van Seel here is with me, one of the men's uh, 400 metres. Tough race there, it was a sort of a photo finish. Yeah, uh, what's tough race? The wind was strong on the back straight there, yeah, very yeah. strong, yes. Yeah. Two or three is really contesting it. Were you confident you were going to get to the line first there? Uh, no, yes, I was struggle, but eventually got it, yes. Yeah. And the time, uh, there's some confusion about the time. I had you at 48 8 there, but the, I think the official time was a bit slower than that. Yeah, there was a 49.54, I think. But yeah, I, I hope for a 48 there, yeah. yeah, yeah. But next time, yes. Okay. The winner of the 200 metres to tend to have a really close finish there. Yes, it was. Uh, I just tried to make sure I finished my race and ran according to my race plan. And yeah. it's a good finish. Real strong dip at the end there just to take the victory. Yes, I think my train has been working hard. And it paid off today. Yeah. Both the 100 metres and the 200 metres, hugely competitive there. Yes, very competitive. Uh, I think I was a little flat from all the travelling, but I'm getting better now, so looking okay. forward to the next race. What, what was your impression of the track here in Letterkenny? It's very fast. Uh, I'm glad that the weather was holding up for us, so 
I'm grateful. Yeah. Okay. Enjoyed your trip here. Yes, very much. Thank you. Okay. Jerry McMoneygill, the uh, chairman of the municipal district here in Letterkenny. Jerry, a wonderful event for the town here. Oh, fantastic, Charlie. I, I really enjoyed it tonight, uh, and it was good to see a, a crowd that we had here. We also enjoyed it. I thought the the, the athletics was brilliant, uh, very high standard, in all the races I've seen tonight. So i uh, really pleased and. Uh, Hopefully it'll go on day from strength to strength. Yeah, great credit to the club. I mean, we had winners tonight from the United States of America, Zimbabwe, South Africa, England, from the Republic of Ireland, and we had runners from Germany and Northern Ireland and Scotland as well. So to draw that sort of a field here tonight, Jerry, great credit to them. Oh, credit, Jerry, the Letterkenny Athletic Club. As you know, Charlie, they're very professional in everything they do, and they draw a field, as you say, with such an international status. I think it was something like nine different countries represented yeah. here tonight at at the Oral Leisure Centre, and that's fantastic. And as I say only can augur well for athletics and indeed sport in general throughout the county. So a little insight into getting these international athletes to come over Michael, these guys are, are on tour yes. at all these meets so it's yes. not just easy getting them to an event like this. It's not, it's not Charlie and without the, the significant financial input from our sponsors we couldn't do this, you know, I mean uh, it would be impossible, yeah. I mean uh, there's huge logistics involved, uh, the, club, the club committee, the subcommittee involved, they put tremendous work into uh, pinpointing these athletes talking to their, to their to their coaches to their you know to their to those who look after them making sure they get them here they're well looked after when they're here the local community again back us up here you know providing accommodation food transport etc so it's all it's a, it's a team a team from the whole community that puts this thing together you know yeah. yeah and just i was talking to a couple of athletes up at the tea room there mm. uh, some of them their first sight are off the facilities here yeah. hugely impressed michael uh, Listen, Charlie. I mean, I've been saying this to to anybody who would listen. I mean, the facilities here are second to none. You could you can go to many provincial towns in Ireland, and you will not get the facilities that we have here in Ireland. County. We're blessed to have them. And we. We are making optimum use of them. I think the whole community is, is making use of these facilities here. But, I mean, we're really, really lucky to have these facilities here at our doorstep. And that ended a fine evening of athletics here at the Danny McDade track at the Oral Leisure Centre in Letterkenny. Charlie Collins for Donegal TV.